Okay, so that's the content, and I'm gonna have the content quite high. And then I'm because I want to maintain this the that photography, like this this beautiful moody kind of feel, I can keep the original and use it as a style reference. Now I'm gonna put the style reference. Mm, I'm actually going to put it ultra or high. I mean, anyway, this just means that it's going to be informed by the um, it's going to be informed by the uh, the the style of this photo. So if we run, I'm going to run two side by side. I'm sorry, I'm just going to get my old prompt. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do them side by side, so you get an idea of what is the kind of result. Um, make sure I get here. We go. That's my original prompt. Okay. Um, and I've got it on moody. I might put it on cinematic. Okay, so let's run that. And then I'm going to show you if we do it with a different style. So it's meant to be very silly and fun. Um, okay, so if I do like the high on this one, you're going to get a very different output now. I'm just going to get rid of this um, moody European thing. And I'm going to say, um, blah, 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 feels playful and bright, uh, full, of, full of energy and mm, mm, full of energy. Cool. Um, I'm also going to change the style preset to maybe like a, vibrant and you get a different result okay good run that through so the so you what you're going to get is two different styles based off that um the aesthetic so we're looking forward to seeing this okay so this is the image that we just fixed um it's changed uh, i i didn't say reading a book i said holding a cup i think is what i've said um pretty now she she's looking quite good. Um, you'll notice the lighting here is just beautiful. Like I absolutely love the way this has been lit. Um, so what I'm gonna this is gonna be my hero. I'm gonna start upscaling. Now we have a few different ways of, of upscaling, and it depends on again this iterative work that you're working on, whether you want to do it at speed, whether you want to do it um, at, at the very end. It, it's totally down to your style. Um, so here you have Alchemy Smooth upscale. So smooth is more for illustration and cartoon stuff. So um, I think there was a picture of me as a cartoon before. Where did it go? Here we go. Oops, that was a broken one. Um, here we go. So this is this is some um, like work I did using my face as a character reference. Um, and it's this really, really cutesy like cartoon style. So I would use the smooth um, feature of um, upscaling on that. Um, then you have crisp upscale, and crisp is for digital art, 3D renders. So anytime I do, um, yeah, like any 3D work, I'll kind of like clean up with that. And then we have Alchemy Upscaler. Um, so this is going to do like a general thing. It's pretty good at hands and faces, so making sure that they're um, clean and great. Um, so I'm going to chuck it on that one for now. Um, and then you get this thing called Refiner Strength. So you can kind of choose how strong you want it. I wouldn't recommend going too high. It, you'll it'll, you'll just get a different kind of look in the distortion. So I'm going to put it on low. Um, as that processes, I'm just going to download this image and I'm going to show you the difference if you use um, the upscalers in the universal upscaler. So universal upscaler sits in the left-hand column. It's here and here. Um, we'll go put it in here and let's get this image. So we'll go in your gens. I'm just going to quickly grab that one. Okay. Pull that through. Great. Now my upscaling here is a bit different. So as you noticed um, with that previous thing, so you've got the, so you've got smooth, crisp, alchemy upscaler, and then you go into universal upscaler and you get more options. So what's great about this upscaling is it's very specific for your desired outcome. So if you want something to be um, an illustration, if you're working on an illustrative style, definitely use that. You'll get it. You'll get a different look. Um, cinematic, self-scoring tree, and game assets. So again, that's like a different render. Or we have a general upscaler. Um, I'm going to put it on cinematic because I quite like this. And then the strength determines how intense the different, like kind of the editing difference is. Um, if I put that very high, she's you're going to get like very very different results. So if we have a look again, I think we covered a little bit of this in 101. Um, but yeah, these were some of the other upscaling differences. Whoop, 
that was so that so that was when it was out of 10 right I, I completely broke it um it was for a use case example um and i think these are some of my little things that i was making before so you can get very different like results in the faces and the skin and like the orange if you have a look at this orange like the details are really quite notably different um so we go grab that little girl that i was working on okay good we'll go get her and put the creative strength at a medium and upscale um so this is the one that i did earlier um you'll see the details of this hand change phenomenally so this is where we started that was the original out of the gen and then this is how we get it's like that is beautiful cleans it up perfectly that's that to me is like um industry industry i could use that in an industry um which is really amazing her face goes from being quite blurry and non-important to this very, very, very pretty detailed skin and you've got well lighting and a hair sits really well. So the, yeah, this, this upscaler is phenomenal. I love it. I think it's one of our best features. Um, so you can play around with that. Um, great. But it can totally also be accessed from the, from this feed as well. It's a different style.